Have you ever wished you could talk to people visiting your website? Imagine being greeted instantly by a receptionist on your website so that you could capture visitor inquiries, answer questions, capture their details, as well as help them perhaps book a call 24 seven. Well, that is exactly what I've built today. And I'm going to show you exactly how to build your own in under 10 minutes using 11 Labs. Now to set the context here, I built a wide array of voice agents, all with different applications from appointment callers to sales lead qualifiers, you name it. But one of the most simplest and most impactful things you can add in the context of a voice agent is this idea of a website receptionist. So instead of a static contact form or a boring live text chatbot, we have a voice that greets you users, answer those questions, captures information, and so forth. It's very lightweight, easy to implement, and just gets the job done. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, let's head over to 11 Labs Conversational AI Platform. Link in the description if you don't already have an account. Here, we're going to create a brand new agent. We're going to click agents, create new agents, and we'll choose a blank agent. Here, we can define the persona first by giving our agent a name. We'll call this one Bob, and we'll hit create agent. We'll start with a simple first message. We'll say, hi, Welcome to our site. I'm here to help. What brings you in today? Question. Next, we need to add a small knowledge base document so we can answer website related questions like what services I offer, what are business hours, how do I book a call and things like that. So to do that, come over to knowledge base and what we can do is we can add a URL, add a file or just plain text. We're gonna add a file and I'm gonna upload a knowledge document from my website, jonasmassey.com. So I'm gonna add that file now, click add file, and there we go, we're ready to go. Now we can come back over to Bob, our agent, and scrolling down, we can go ahead and add our document we had just uploaded. Hit save on that. Now scrolling back up to the system prompt, we are at the fun part. So let's build out the conversational flow of the agent equipped also with contact cam. Capture. So here we are going to use 11 Labs's suggested six core building blocks for designing agent prompts. Those six blocks are personality, environment, tone, goal, guardrails, and tools. I've got a pre-made prompt here also available in the description guys. So let's go ahead and paste that in. So in today's prompt, we are adopting a personality of Bob, a friendly and highly knowledgeable website content specialist at the website jonasmassey.com. Having a deep expertise in all of my services like voice agent integration and enhancement, full agent project builds and expert consultancy and so forth. We'll define next our environment here. We are interacting with a visitor directly from my website. The visitor is likely exploring my services and may have varying level of technical or business knowledge and so forth. Moving on to the tone, nothing too special here. Link to this prompt in the description below, guys. Moving on to the goal. Our primary goal is to answer visitor questions, demonstrate value, and smoothly transition to collecting their contact information. And we do that by three sort of sub goals here denoted by double pound keys. Firstly, we need to identify the user inquiry. Secondly, we'll denote our information delivery. So how we should give that information based on the inquiry. So for different questions, how to respond. And then thirdly, transitioning to capture here. And once the question is addressed, guide the user towards the next step. Would you like me to connect you with my team for a deeper walkthrough? If accepted, we're going to proceed to a sub point under transition to contact capture where we're basically capturing their name and email. So asking first the user's name, but I'll grab your name. Once they have provided it, ask for their email, what's the best email? And then we'll get them to spell it back out. We now have guardrails, again, nothing too special. And then finally at the bottom, we have tools. So we have access to two tools here, one to end the call and one to skip the agent's turn. These are two inbuilt 
built 11 labs tools that just enhance the dynamic of the conversation. And that's it. Again, the prompt is in the description if you want a deeper look at everything. However, to make time, let's go ahead and move forward. Scrolling down to under tools, we'll just go ahead and select and call as well as skip turn. We'll navigate up the top to voice and I'm going to leave the voice the same. I'm pretty happy with it, but if you want to change and play around with this, you most certainly can. Next up is our analysis tab here where we are going to want to add three data points in the context of this agent, namely inquiry type, name, and email. Let's go ahead and do that now. We can add an item inquiry with the description as follows. Reason for contact capture or inquiry type summary. Go ahead and add that item. Next, we'll add the name and the description, the user's name collected during the call, add item. Thirdly, we'll collect the email with the description, the user's email collected during the call in email format. Go ahead and add item and we'll save changes. Now, skipping over to widget, we'll see our very own widget embed code. Code. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck text only mode. We'll enable send text while on call as well as real time transcription of the call. Go ahead and save that. I'm going to change this to compact. And of course, you can go ahead and edit anything here to do with your widgets customization. However, to grab the widget embed code, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And all we have to do is paste in a code block if you're using a website builder or on the page you want to embed directly in the HTML structure. So jumping over to my website here, I can go ahead and put this as a script in my website HTML. I'm going to go ahead and save this and of course deploy this to production and we'll jump over to our website to see our new voice agent. And look at that. In under 10 minutes, we've gone from a normal website here to one with a voice agent that can collect contact information and answer questions. Pretty cool, right? So let's start call here, accept, and let's talk with Bob. Hello, how can I help you today? Hey, I was wondering what Jonas does. Jonas specializes in voice AI, offering services like voice agent integration, enhancement, full project builds, and expert consultation. Are you interested in a specific service or just looking for a general overview? Tell me about the agent architect session. The agent architect session is a one-on-one -on -one consultation with Jonas designed to provide guidance on implementing, developing, and integrating voice AI solutions tailored for your business. You'll receive actionable advice, best practices, and the opportunity to discuss your project requirements. Does that sound like what you're looking for? Yeah, absolutely. Um, how do I get in touch? Great. Would you like me to connect you with Jonas's team for a deeper walkthrough? Yes, please. Okay, perfect. Could I grab your name, please? Bob. And what was the best email for you? Bob at gmail.com. Could you spell that out for me? B-O-B -B at gmail.com. Perfect. Thanks, Bob. I'll have the team reach out to you shortly. Have a great day. Thank you so much. You have a good day. And there we have it. Our site now has a living, breathing receptionist. Now, if you're wondering, how do I see that contact information or get notified when a contact comes through? Well, this is a good question. This is the bonus segment where I'm going to show you exactly how to capture that information and send it wherever you want. So if you're familiar with webhooks and middleware tools like N8N, you want to go ahead and sign up and we'll get a new workflow all spun up. So over here, I have a simple webhook node in N8N. If I click into this and we'll copy our URL here, turn this on, we'll want to head back over to 11 labs. We'll go under settings and you'll see post call webhook. What we're going to do is just delete this old one. We'll select a webhook, create new webhook. We'll name this N8N and our URL will be pasted in this callback URL. We'll hit create. Don't worry about this webhook secret. We'll go ahead and close that. Now let's go ahead and run our webhook here. So we'll listen for test event. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and have another call similar to the one I just 
just had. As you can see, we have some data here and all I need to do is find those data collection points that we had given. So firstly, I'm gonna pin this so we don't have to keep having conversations and I'm gonna go out of this and I'm just gonna add a set new fields node. Our first input item is going to be inquiry and we wanna come down to the input side and scroll all the way down to the bottom where we can see our data points collected. There we go. So we can see inquiry. We're gonna drag the value in this value box. We'll add a new field name. Again, we'll drag the name now value in here. And finally the email, we'll go ahead and drag our value email in here, just like so. We'll go out, save. And now if I run this again, we'll see those values are clearly here to use to perhaps send a Slack channel, a message or a notification that we have a new website user. So what we can do is go ahead and hit Slack and we're looking for send a message. Make sure your Slack account is connected and all authenticated in where our action is going to be send message to channel. And I'm gonna select the channel here, Jonas Web, and finally our message text. So let's expand this out here. We're gonna say something like new website interaction, okay? And firstly, actually, you wanna change this to expression. So new website interaction, we'll put the inquiry and we can drag uh, inquiry field here. Next is the name, we can drag the name field here. And finally, the email, we can drag the email field in here. Bang, 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 let's go ahead and save that. Now, if I run that, perfect, new Slack message sent. Now, if I go ahead over to my Slack channel, as you can see there, new website interaction, we have our inquiry type, the name and the email. So good, that is perfect. So that is how easy it is to turn a website into a 24 seven receptionist using 11 labs. And this is one of those simple but high impact AI voice projects you can actually deploy today. In this video, we did it in about 10 minutes. No code, no huge setup here, just a smart voice agent that makes your website come alive to a sense. So if you found this helpful, drop a like and leave a comment if you're following along. And if you're looking to stay ahead of the voice AI curve, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But that is it for today. Until next week.